terms of where they are in the uh, pecking order at the start of the day before the afternoon games were played. Samara in ninth, back home in uh, tenth, and just one game the difference between them, 11 and 10 respectively. which had to a yes. complication Love to Porter. Not that it's unusual, of course. Yeah. You see the man is spin on that serve. Kick to the right. from the air comb racket, brushing on the side of the ball, just creating enough spin to cause put up problems. Backhand from Ekholm. Straight to the body. Four, two. A little bit, of, little bit of luck there for Kota, but managed to do very well off that really spinny backhand from Ekholm. Great return there from Porter. Akuma tried to lace it with top spin. She's having a nerve it straight back. Yes. Feeling that Porter's game could trouble Matilda here slightly. Porter staying very close to the table, playing short, compact strokes. Akuma. Preferring to give herself a little bit of distance to really spin that first ball up. That's the point. But I saw a flash there of Potter's very elegant forehand. She's still ahead in this. Hand side of the ball, creating a lovely little angle out to the photo backhand. Looking in control in this first game at the moment. Lovely little set play from Echo there. Pendulum serve. Being left handed. Set up the backhand perfectly afterwards. on her shots, this time just going long, that seems to be the tactic. She's a wee bit too far away to try and smash that ball, need to be a little bit close to the table, try and cut out the spin. It's a good comeback isn't it from Echo. Long 
some deep push and cut out. Mixing up the placement really well off her receive. Defending from Porter again, not really putting much spin on it, just getting the ball back. Top spin at the end, and uh, I come in frustration showing the juggling skills <laughs> more than a table tennis talent. shots back is bent did really well there to contort her body around the ball yeah. 10 a piece keeps coming back will not be dispatched and butter or echo coming this with his next point Bossing this game for the majority of it, but two good comebacks from Ekholm. And uh, saved a game point, and then look at that. Just ripped the backhand down the side that uh, Potter wasn't expecting. And uh, rather unexpectedly, in just under seven minutes, Ekholm has the first game. and trying to <laughs> change ends. Old habits. Yeah, promptly turned around and made her way back to this side of the table. Ekholm is really, really wild to try and contort her body around the ball. Sometimes she gets caught, but she drops her left hip, giving herself that little bit of extra space. Unfortunate there to fresh air. That shot, but the serve did check up from Puta. There's a lot of power into those four hands, does Puta. Not trying to overspin it. Just playing a little bit too flat on that backhand. Just not using her legs enough in that forehand top spin. Her first spin up ball is usually pretty good, but just didn't contact it right there. Yeah, that's better. And she gives herself a little bit of time, a little bit of space. Her first forehand attack can be detrimental to her opponent. Questions. No timeouts as of yet from the captains. Two lovely backhands from the Hungarian's racket. Playing the ball right in front of her body, taking it early.
Second is a 24 minute match. That, <laughs> took, that took a while. Ekholm is so comfortable away from the table. Showing that Swedish style of flair and control. Potter is patient as well, it has to be said. And uh, not quite the same power in the smashes as perhaps in the men's game. So patience is what is required once you get into that kind of holding pattern, as they say, in uh, air traffic control. <laughs> oh, well, good idea from Potter. Would have been a heck of a winner. That's good power from Ekholm. Bring Echo into the net. Seven. Not much you can do there, though. It's another clean winner in the stats for Echo. Where she strikes this forehand, her whole body going forward. The racket head speed, really quick. Seven, eight. Just not enough space to duplicate the shot before. A little bit rushed. Oh, yeah. Nine, seemed to have enough time to prepare for that shot. It was still an air shot at the end of the day. Probably, or possibly a lot of spin on that previous shot from Porter. <laughs> and she's not done, is she? She uh, keeps hanging on to the coattails of Porter. Strikes it beautifully, the racket in front of her body. And there's another backhand for you. She did this in the last game, didn't she? She was behind, but kept in touch, crept up. And over to uh, Porter. Four. Nine apiece. It was ten apiece, of course, in that first game. Yeah. Oh, the ball just jumping on Porter's side of the table. A little brush of the table with her hand. Game point to make it two to nothing for Matilda Echo. And the first few points of the first game wouldn't have thought this would be the case. And there you go, it's long. And there is the second game for Echo, who really has come good. It's a great service from Echo, changing up, playing long and direct into the Pota forehand. This is okay if you, if you push. Okay. Don't to. Yeah, she sports close. Her body is very nice. Close. She must you, block you. Yeah, yeah. Far away. Yeah. Far away for her body. Yeah. Backhand to the board to her backhand. A little bit lower, not so high. This one. Yeah. Keep away from the body is the, the, the advice the from on, JJ Jiang Jialing. Come on. Try again. Try. Come on. Go. What will Porter do to try and turn this around? Just over 10 minutes, the clock will start again. We'll be underway. The players having had that compulsory one minute timeout after two games, they're ready to get going again. Well, JJ did say play your backhand to Porter's backhand. In that case, it was an Ekholm forehand and it was dispatched by. Georgina Potter might not be a good tactic to play to Porter's strength. It's important for Ekholm just to keep mixing the game. Not let Potter get into her rhythm. Backspin. 
been added to that service. Such a compact little service, but you can change the spin so quickly. Very deceptive. Two cheap little points for both players. Five, cheaper, isn't it? And it's uh, against the uh, nature of the game as well. We've had some great uh, stroke play from these two. two games we want to let this advantage disappear it's better from Elkom playing one slightly in the crossover backhand area and then one right into the body Confusing for it. Seven, Got lucky with the net there. Another spin on the ball helped it climb over. Just was a little bit off balance when she tried to strike that backhand. Trying to play across the ball, trying to create a little bit of deception. Just didn't have the right space or balance. Change up to play a long push, making putter open up. Return from Porter. Give her all the time in the world to set that one up. Yes. Nine, five. Soft little hold into the trick of Porter, and that point doesn't always have to be pierced. A little slow block will do wonders. Two better for Anne from Porter. Five game points then. Pull it back to 2 1. And that'll do it. A little bit uh, weak from Ekholm. And we still have six minutes and a bit on the clock. All the way back. You know? Exactly. Huh? Short. And if you can show us sometimes together. And you. It's a real easy point at the end. Not one of the classics, but if it wins you the game, you're happy enough. Support to put that. Just not staying low enough on our legs, a little bit too straight in our body. Two, one. Better from Echo, stronger strike of the ball, a little bit more power injected. Slap that forehand very quickly. Just a bit too much for Echo to deal with. Good use of the table. And away 
away from the body. needs to play a little bit smarter try to use the whole area of the table instead of playing right onto Potter's racket we saw her use the body shot finding Potter's middle really well early on in the match really picked that serve what a spin on it King wasn't good enough and that was a, another good forehand and wide in the forehand. A little backhand into the body. And back on. She's back on the upper turns again. She just keep coming back. The pot of yeah, I think it's very sensible from uh, Jürgen It's okay. If you push, you push long to the backhand. It's no problem. No? And if you push forehand, you wait there. But it's good to play short. You know? And your serve, you concentrate that the serve is short, or either it's, it's really long. You know? If it's half long, you can start to get strong. Yeah? And if you spin, yeah? Yeah, spin is always good in this position. There is not, she is not so strong. Yeah? Think positive. Yeah? You get it. Come on. Come on, Jim. Take it. Urging positivity. She needs to get a grip in this game. 2.35 on the clock. The question is, will we get through this one before we get to zero? And get another game in. Mistake from the Akum racket. Just needs to hang in there. Play a few nice blocks into the body of Akum. Maybe time back, you know, in this game. So every point is absolutely crucial here. Playing field at seven of heat. Potter, the advantage of the backhand winners. Oh. Another oh. decent backhand place well. Potter now ahead. Clock only just over a minute. So they need to get on with this. Echoum certainly does. Going on. I feel like Toto just got away with that. Okay. Played half long and loose. Yeah, I'm possibly thinking that if I can get two quick points here, Nine, get the kill zone game as well, I could win this, this match.
This is definitely eating away at the time. Uh, Come will make sure of this, not to miss. Run down the clock. What a treat for the audience, though. <laughs> what was run down there? <laughs> that was a minute point. We were saying, what was I saying about two quick points and you can go into the kill zone? Oh, both sides enjoyed that. Excellent work from both of them, and it ends on as even two games apiece. Real smart play by Ekholm there, knowing that if she tried to attack, she could miss. So let's just try and run down the clock. It's a very Swedish style, being flary, lobbing away from the table. <laughs> well. Jorgen Roskov was just toweling down like a like a boxer in a corner. Uh, <laughs> Georgina yeah, Potter. Seven. Excellent work. Seven six. From both these uh, athletes. Yeah. And Ekholm uh, down on the stats, but somehow managed to chisel out two games. Forehand winners. She was uh, certainly up on that. Excellent work from these two Europeans. And it started very brightly, and Potter seemed to have all the answers to the questions. But Ekholm, like a limpet, wouldn't let go. Kept in those games, won the first two. Lovely matchup of styles. Potter with the more quick flat hit strategy. Ekholm with the longer stroke and the heavier spin. Yes, Potter was happy to slap away, wasn't she? And the two battled it out. Perhaps uh, Honours Even is a fair reflection of how these two have played in very good sportsman like manner. Finishing 2 2 at the uh, end of the day. Got timed out with the buzzer. Great match between these two.